school history, but they don't teach real nigga history. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah. man. That's exactly that's the source of what I'm talking about. They teach us the cracker history, but they don't teach us the real nigga history, our history. That's you know right. You know what I mean? You know, we talk about, of course, the vision in 1930, but you got to throw in the Freedom Fighters, W.E. Dubois, yep. Harriet Tubman. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's what it's really about. We got all kind of, and even way before that, even before slavery, because they act like black history starts from slavery forward. Yeah. They don't never teach you nothing before slavery in a thousand years, way back in the B.C., even when they weren't even counting numbers like that. I'm telling you. That's true. See, the problem is, you know, as I talked about, you know, during season two, you know, sometimes you got to integrate yourself in the Western Babylon society because, you know, you got to get your grades or get your job, whatever you got to do, so you got to listen to it. But then what happens is 20 years down the road, the real vision comes along and teaches you the truth. Yeah, straight that's up. real right straight now. Up, you're right now. That, that's that's you sum it up. You know, we're part of this year. We know cause we all got mental institutions and, and brainwashed through their system, man. But, you know, like you said, 20 years later, look what you got. Real vision on GMR and STV for all the real niggas to learn the education and start learning about themselves. And man, you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, season two, you know, we got a combing, we got to, you know, we got to do what we got to do. But uh, check this out, this season two, man. Show them the shirt, baby. What's up? Oh, yeah, man. We got the shirt. Matter of fact, they out in the car right now. Will we go get one? <laughs> Will we go get one? I get one. What we go get one? Yeah, you. I got to step it up myself in season three, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight up, man. Every season, we're going to try to step it up a little more, man. We got the yep. GMRNS t-shirts out on the streets, man. So we're going to step it up now. We're going to focus more. I'm going to tell you right now, on this season, we're going to get more into the, the, the thought process of niggas and why they do what they do. We're going to really get on niggas a lot, man. Because niggas, niggas don't really want to get no better for the most part. You got a few niggas that want to have wisdom and knowledge and try to elevate themselves because they realize that life ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? We trying to elevate out this shit. We got a lot of niggas that want to keep you down in this bitch and just keep doing that same fuck shit. So that's why I call me nigga killer. I remember. See, the thing is, you know, like every Tuesday night, it's education. It's a brotherhood. We come together. Y'all show us something. That's how it should be. You know, a lot of niggas, man, they come up and they move out the hood, man. But see, you know, you and your boy Jizzle, man, y'all bringing it back to the motherland. You know what I'm saying? Y'all coming educated and we're going to take this ride together, you know? Straight yes, up, man. Sir. That's real shit right there, man. All right. I love the spirit, man. You know, we love the feedback. It's because niggas like you, man, while we do what we do. One spirit. Oh, man, like I always say, man, I love y'all. Y'all keep up the good work, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do y'all thing. And uh, I'll holler at y'all next Tuesday night on Real Vision. <laughs> <Straight> <laughs> I up, give thanks, cuz. All right, man. Bless. Real Vision, GMRNS TV. Yeah, um, so y'all talking about God and all this and that. So y'all don't believe in God? I mean, um, y'all believe in God or what? Are y'all like Muslims or something? Nah, we ain't no Muslims. We really just some real niggas. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we Rastafarians. That's the realest nigga you probably going to get. And not just believing in God, we don't believe in nothing. Because recognize that belief, when you believe, you still got room for doubt. You're not sure. And I'd rather have somebody going to know they're going to get the job done than believe they're going to get it done. You know what I'm saying? It's the difference between believing and knowing. You know it when you live it, thus become it. So we don't believe in nothing because it's, it, belief is for children or it's belief is for the weak. And then first you believe, but you got to come to know. And, you know, to believe that you're still going to have room for doubt so you're not sure. It ain't, we ain't trying to live life basically not being sure. We got to know thyself. Know ourself and know where you come from and where you're going. Not believe where you come from and where you're going. Cause okay, but was y'all raised in church or no? You want to answer first? I mean, I, I have attended church, you know. Yeah, I mean, I was raised in church, you know, but my, basically my whole childhood life. Down yeah. There, you know what I'm saying? That Sunday singing in the choir, ushering, all that shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. So, but you, you guys just... I mean, I'm just not understanding, like, because y'all keep saying about how people, you know, go to church one day, which is true, a lot of people do, go to church one day a week, and then they're out in the club on Friday night, you know, and stuff like that. But everybody makes mistakes, and, you know, it's all about trying to change your lifestyle. Yeah, we just, we just saying, like, you know, the basic concept of church, you know, that that shouldn't be where you get your your uh, draw your source of like righteousness from. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 yourself. It's within. So you ain't got to attend that that church. You know what I'm saying? And we, and we also we're not saying that um 
We're not saying that, you know, like you can go to church and then you go to the club and something wrong. There ain't nothing wrong with going to club. Nah, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You're going to party, but see, from the church aspect, now we got to understand the mind frame. From the church mind frame, it's like, well, if I go to church and I'm saved, I can't go to the club and do that no more. Yeah. And so it looked like you're doing wrong. But in real life, you want to go to the club because you want to have fun. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't got to have fun to go to the club, but that might be a form that you like to have fun. Like me, I like going to the club. I like to be around bras. You know what I'm saying? They dance and shit. <laughs> shit, I like seeing that ass shake. That's just me personally. <laughs> That's me personally. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking for everybody. So there's nothing wrong with that. I'm still going to be the spiritual heights I'm on because I'm out in the streets. Like if they was real, they noticed in the Bible, Christ, he was out in the street among the publicans and the sinners yeah. teaching. And, and they even came and to drunkards. him. They even told him, like, what you doing amongst the publicans and the sinners and the wine bibbers? He was like, well, if y'all supposed to be straight, that I'm bit. out here in the streets trying to teach the real niggas what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just that people get in the mind frame of thinking that, well, if I'm this and that, I can't do this and that. First, we got to understand the law, where the source come from, and all that in the scripture and the Bible came from black people. That's the real history of it, first of all. And we getting taught from a European, a Eurocentric view which develops that God. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to come yeah. from. The scriptures is true, okay. you know what I'm saying? But we just guys, how we look at them. You guys sound like y'all, you know, did your homework and stuff, so, you know. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, straight up. What's, what's your name? Tiana. Tiana, hey, give thanks for the call. We on it every Tuesday night, 11 p.m. live and repeat on Thursday night, Friday morning, every week, GMR and STV. All right, thank you. All right, give Bye. thanks. Right on. Real vision, grown man, real nigga shit TV. What club do you go to? <laughs> what club do I go to? Yeah. Uh, um, well, sometime I drop to a. Yeah, the chip in. <laughs> nigga, take the chip in, the golden nugget. Tell you the truth, we don't be um, all around. Sometimes we. Cotton club. Follow that cotton club. I might follow one of the Ebos. You see me in that yeah. empire, that full moon. Might slide through the underground. You know what I'm saying? Slide through the studio ink every now and then, but you know, I don't really do that shit too much because every time I see you can't wear a t-shirt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but but we be a little around town doing a little something out here every now and then, you know. Okay, can you tell me what G M I N S T V stands for? Uh that's a good question. G M R N S it's G M R N S. That's grown man, real nigga shit T V. You know what I'm saying? Recognizing that we try to be grown, being grown is being responsible, respectful, you know what I'm saying? Knowing thyself, knowing where you come from, your culture, and knowing where you're going. A real nigga, as far as like somebody ain't side with this cracker shit, side with the oppressor and the slave mentality, and trying to look into their own shit, standing up for their own traditions and customs, and not following after your cracker shit all the time. And, and the shit is the substance. So it's grown man, real nigga shit. Okay, the caller just called in and asked if you go to church. No, nah, we don't. I mean, y'all mother had y'all was in church and couldn't go nowhere. Is that what y'all doing with cussing? Because you couldn't do it when you was younger. Oh no, nah, I was in that level too. Now when I was fifteen. Ah, uh, that's not you why. Grown, man. You just became grown. Is that what you doing? All the community? Did you just hear? I was in that level too <laughs> when I was fifteen. It wasn't like I was shocked. I, I was, was all at the labor temple. I was in the streets. Shit. We was in the streets now, so. We was at we was at the labor temple at the five o'clock in the morning. We was in the street level two, hit that lounge on Saturday. We was jits, so it wasn't like we were just shacking in like some preacher's kids or some shit. Okay, so basically, how did y'all get out? Did y'all climb out? How do we what? Walk out. Climb out and walk out of what? Did y'all climb out the windows to get to these places? <laughs> Hell no, nah, I went out the front door. Hell no. Nah. My homeboy picked me up in that Jetta. We used to ride down hills, bro, to the old rumors. And it turned to level two. <laughs> yeah. And we used to hit My that bitch. <laughs> what about Lou Docks? You know about that Lou Docks? You said they up there on Martin Luther King? I'm not a big fan, but I don't go out. I'm just, y'all got GMRNFTV. Y'all got a real nigga shit. Y'all just became grown because y'all couldn't be grown before. That way y'all call yourself GMRNFTV. Nah, <laughs> no, nah, we just while, answered that question. Why we really call ourselves grown man real nigga shit because Rastafari is the realest nigga shit ever. You know, as far as going back to the ancient Tawahadu, the ancient.